Hi, welcome to part seven of this uh, series of videos on the PolyEd tool in modeling mode in UE 5.1. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show a few ways to sort of cut up faces of a model. Um, so the simplest way is for a, a single face, we've got this insert edge tool. So this tool doesn't use the selection. These shape edits, you can just use them at any time with no selection. So when you're an insert edge, essentially what happens is the cursor will snap to the edges of the, the poly group edges. You see there's a green dot and then you click and you'll get this edge you can drag out to a second snap point and that will cut the face. Um, and you can just stay in this operation cutting faces uh, until you're done and then you've got you know a, a new set of faces available to do operations with. Um, and so this uh, Insert edge also works <clears throat> on curved surfaces. Uh, let's put a sphere in here and I'll show you. So on a curved uh, model like this, we do insert edge. Uh, oh, wireframe is turned on. Turn that off. You see it will drag out a curved edge along the face so I can, um, you know, same kind of thing. Uh, cut up the faces there and then I get this. Uh, sort of new poly group in here that I could do operations with, uh, you know, inset or outset, stuff like that, extruded inwards maybe. Um, so that's insert edge. Uh, there's a similar operation called uh, cut edge, or cut faces. So that is based on a selection. So if I select this face, I can do cut faces. Cut faces I can draw anywhere. So you see I've got a green cursor. It snaps to vertices. So if I want to exactly you know, cut along an existing mesh, mesh edge. I can do that by just snapping to the two vertices, but I can also just click in the middle of the face and it will basically construct a plane from the face normal and those two click points and cut the face with that plane. Um, it also works on multiple phases. So if I inset this, uh, maybe select, um, actually let's just select the whole thing. So I can do cut faces you know, maybe like this, and you see now it cut essentially through all those faces like a plane cut through the whole model, but then I can just select a few of them, same sort of thing, and cut through those um, to build up, uh, to sort of construct, sort of decompose the existing faces into other faces. Um, now, uh, one thing that did happen here, so maybe I wanted to make this embed this shape, so I had to do some cuts to get the, that sort of polygon embedded, and now I want to, um, you know, do merge to get rid of some of these extra faces um, that I don't need. So uh, an operation I can do now, so I've done that, but you see I still do have lots of interior, extra interior vertices. So th that merge didn't re-triangulate anything. Um, actually, I didn't group them in the way I wanted to to demo the next part, so let's just do this. Let's merge those two. Uh, and I don't really care about the rest. So I can do the re-triangulate operation if I turn the wireframe on. Um, and that will re-triangulate the face, but it won't get rid of these edge vertices because they're shared with another face that also has them. So there's this other shape edit, the simplify by groups, and what that does is it basically for it it goes through and for each sort of polygroup face generates sort of clean triangulation and then merges or welds everything back together. So it'll get rid of these interior faces. So if I do simplify by groups, you see that some of the edges flipped, um, but it got rid of those extra vertices. So each face, each polygroup face now has no interior vertices. So um, this will wipe out, so if, say if I go up here and inset this and move it up and then I merge it all back in. So I still have, now I have this complex face that isn't planar. If I do simplify by groups, that extra bit is going to get wiped out because it's going to just triangulate the border. So you see it also messed up the UVs and that is something this operation will tend to do, but it, what it does if you're doing this just kind of polygroup modeling to get the shape is it really, it can clean up any kind of uh, messes you made by merging faces and decomposing them and stuff like that. Okay.
That's it for this video.